decades until now. The Toyota Supra is back with a GR brand title is now definitely going to be arriving in GT Sport as part of the March 2019 update. So looks like it's time to get ready for a custom race and then this is going to be quite very excited to be able to try it out with a new Supra model folks because this is the best moment to be prepared. So looks like this will be able to take a good look at this nice performance for its max horsepower is 335. Max torque is 369. That was a perfect torque performance. The weight pound is 3351 and the drivetrain is FR. So this is going to be quite excellent to take a good look for these good specs on it. And it looks like eight-speed transmission is giving the one good opportunity to take a good look at this one. Now this is very excited to see it. But this is definitely able to see it to be reduced when using the fully customized transmission. So it also shows for the 7-speed transmission to be able to use. So this is a pretty good one. So they should probably able to stick it onto the automatic transmission with some 8-speed gear transmission on it. So this is a pretty good car and a very good 2019 model is definitely perfect for today for this year. But now... Let's get ready to test it out. So I hope that this is definitely giving a good choice to be able to test out the Toyota Supra. So this is going to be quite good for the new model because Gasoo Racing has did very well to be able to have the new Supra RC to be able to get everything prepared. Now racing on the big willow is going to be one big moment to be prepared. So looks like this will be able to race on the evening time condition. So this is going to be quite very good to be able to take a good look at this modern interior style to be quite very amazing to see it. So this is going to be able to have four laps to be able to get started. So this is going to be quite very excited to be able to race for the N300 category. So this will be able to get started for. Now, let's get ready and have this for a one good racing beginnings for a new Supra to be able to get started. So, looks like the KTM Expo R is waiting for the new car to be able to challenge with and this is going to be quite excellent to be able to have classic JDM cars will be able to, to join the race and this will all get everything started. So, Looks like the Toyota Supra RC 1997 and the 3.0T Turbo A is now joining in for the race. So this is definitely the three Toyota Supras are now racing together to be able to have three generation models to be able to get started. Now, looks like this will be able to be prepared to be able to have the good choice to be able to go and use the sports soft tires. And this is going to be the only best method able to use to be able to race successfully to be able to challenge the KTM Expo R to a race. Now, let's see how the 8-speed transmission to be able to go faster to be improved for it. Because this race is about to begin. So, looks like this is the very good looking of this modern interior view style. Because this is very cool and very good modern tech like the FT1. So this is a very good model for the new Supra to be able to race a good end and turn to be quite giving a good successful for it. Giving an 8-speed transmission to go faster and giving a good improvement to be able to go stronger than ever. Now, looks like this is going to be able to go in and make a good attempt at moment to be able to overtake all JDM cars for it. So just did for taking a little test drive to be able to try it out and see how fast can it go to be able to go 8 speed so handling corners to be able to do some work because this is going to get everything excellent to be able to go passing in for it all right keep it up good thing that sports stop tires will be able to get a good excellent improvement to be able to get, get some more handling turns to be able to go well organized for it 
So this is definitely equal to show for the number of gears when accelerating. So this will be equal to keep in track of it. So this is definitely a brilliant good modern JDM car to be able to drive faster for it. Now, looks like, here we go. Keep it a little bit stepping stone on the last corner. And this is gonna get pretty faster to be able to pace up, to be able to overtake any classic JDM cars to be able to race against the new Supra. Very good. Now, this is gonna get come closer for it. Only three few more laps and this is going to get a little bit tricky to be able to master it to take on the inside turn. Okay, make a good pass opening on the RX 500. Here we go and let's get some good handling turn overtake. Now, this is pretty excited to be able to have a good race, folks. I hope the Mark III and the Mark IV Supra is definitely keep doing okay. Now, looks like this is going to be able to keep up the pace to be able to overtake the second new Supra as I turn to use for it. Because this is going to be quite going faster than ever to get some good handling turns on it. So, this will also to keep it maintain touch with the sixth gear so that could be able to get an extra support for one good supporting speed on it. Okay, keep going up and then sixth gear is definitely quite even than usual like the Mark IV Supra. Just keep a good slip on it and then looks like gap distance are going to be decreasing on the road. Alright, so close and so far and giving one more avoiding caution to be able to get a good handling turns on it. Now this is definitely a good modern tech to use to be able to get a good closer look on it. So this will actually show us on the kilometer miles is definitely able to get a good look on it. So it's definitely also to be accelerating at 210 km. So that will actually be shown for it. focus. Now, this is going to get a little bit closer until the final lap is about to begin, folks. Here we go, and let's get started, and then this is going to be the best moment to overtake the Expo R to be able to get some good quick turns and get some handling speed to get everything settled. it up. Now, looks like the Expo R is waited to be able to catching up for it because the new Challenger means to get everything to be giving a good advantage to be success to win. Now, this is a very good Supra that everybody is waiting for to be able to challenge the KTM Expo R. Giving one challenging twist, always to be able to have a nice HP transmission to be able to get some support to be able to race. Now, looks like first place for the DR Super RC, and then this is going to be able to get a good handling turn the back to be able to stay on it. Keep it wide open on that turn and make a one good straight run to be able to reach the finish line.
Now, this is a very good test to be able to master the TR Super RC boats. One good car, one good handling opportunity. Now, this is a very good modern JDM car that will be able to race, to be able to take on the competition for it. So, it's definitely like the GR Super Racing Concept 2018 because this new one drives very cool to be able to have a standard road car. Now, looks like this is a pretty good clean race bonus. That was an awesome well done to be able to get everything improved for it. Now, looks like the race results is definitely now announced for it because looks like the GR Super comes in third. So this is going to be quite very good to be able to get a good strong opportunity to challenge the Expo R to a one-on-one -on -one race. Now, let's go for the next course because this is going to be quite giving a good start to be able to be prepared for it. Now, looks like this will be able to have the second round on the track because this is going to be able to race on over to Autopolis International Racing Course. So this time, this will be able to go to a nice afternoon time to be able to be on the cloudy conditions for it. So this is going to be quite very brand new for the Supra because this drives very well because this is going to be quite excellent if one of you guys could also to be able to bring out the Mark IV Supra and the Hidden Headlights 3.0 T Turbo okay, is definitely quite giving a good choice to be able to challenge the GR Supra because this is going to be excellent to be able to go for. So right now for the next race because I might be able to check on the starting grid because I hope that the, everything is going to be able to sort it out for it. So, looks like two Supras are now going to be able to take a break for a moment because they did a lot of good run to be able to have the race better to be able to go for. Now, looks like taking four laps on Autopolis Motor Racing Circuit is going to be quite very good to take on the starting grid. So here we go, race number two goes in right now. Because this is going to be quite very challenging to be ever imagined with. So looks like we're at the take the breaking point to be able to go carefully for it. Just going to make a good start. So we still always love the Toyota Super RC with the Mark IV model. So this is definitely quite became still popular for it. But it looks like the new one is very cool to be able to have a nice style with the exterior model for it. Because this is definitely the key to a brand new model that was definitely here in the year 2019. That is definitely today. So this is definitely quite good for the new JDM H for every Japanese sports car to be able to race along with the classic JDM cars. So this is going to be able to drive pretty well to be able to get a good efficient handling performance. Now looks like this is going to be able to come closer to be able to overtake the Nissan 360Z. Then go walk by in to take the downhill turn to be able to take a good flip turn to be able to go easy in on it. Now, this is going to be an excellent downhill turn that will also perform some good technique gripping skills for it. Okay, going to have to get a little bit closer up on it. Now this is going to be able to have an excellent good clean race on the auto board track will be able to perform any techniques to master. Apex can help. That will also make the key to be able to masterize any corners whenever we can to be able to perform any techniques to be able to have a good skill set on it. Now looks like second lap goes on the halfway mark. 
because this is going to be able to get a good running opportunity to be able to go there for it. So this will also survive the little stick first. Well, taking on that first corner will be quite slightly difficult to be prepared. Okay, going in, just a little turn. Make the pass on the R33 skyline. Excellent. Just gonna keep a little struggle eye on the Alpine A110 Premier Edition. This is gonna get a little bit closer to being able to make a good passing opportunity on it. Okay, giving one big caution step on it. Better have to watch out for the getting off track to be able to be a little bit risky to be able to avoid it. Looks like the crowd sees it, and then this will go slip down the hill. Now, this is definitely an excellent good performance for a Supra to be able to give a good closing edge corner for it. 8 speed transmission, so this is definitely an excellent good performance that will also drive quickly as possible for it. So this is definitely quite very successful by the Toyota FT1 because this is going to be quite very good for the new Super RC to be able to race it in, to be able to have a good efficient performance, to be able to have a, a nice perfect 8-speed transmission to be able to get a good horsepower to be able to speed up faster. Now, looks like this is going to be able to come closer to be able to get everything slipped in on that last turn. Now, the Expo R is currently in the lead, so still might need to be able to get everything catching up too. Now, this is going to get a little bit more awesome to be able to get everything done. Now, looks like this will be where I have to do a little gap catching up to do until the final lap will come. Because the XR definitely might be able to find a way to be able to get a good horsepower advantage to be able to get a good gap away from it. Now, looks like this is going to get a little bit closer. Okay, looks like So this will also check on the dirt here while keeping track on the turn. Just gonna give a little bit more sliding turn to be able to go on for it. Just gonna check on it to see if this is the full well position on the turn. Okay, there's the Expo R. Just gonna make a one good opening spot to be able to go in and have a good turbocharge be able to speed up faster. Okay, slide down. Keep it nice and careful. And this is going to be quite excellent to be able to come closer for it. Okay, just going to take a little five second time to be able to go back in and then one good overtake pass. Then this is definitely score one for the new Supra. It's definitely going to score number two. Now this is a very awesome run to be able to get some time to be able to push up for the limit to be able to keep a good pace on it. Now looks like now marching in to be able to coming in for the final lap of this race. And this is going to be able to provide for the good recent development for the PRC run to be able to get a good running performance to be able to get everything a good shape on it. So, looks like the rest of the JDM cars and also the Euro cars and American cars are definitely still marching in to be able to keep up until the final lap comes. That will be quite giving one good excellence to be able to keep 
up turns that will also master the auto police track. This was definitely quite very good to be able to race since Need for Speed Shift, but this track is definitely part of it that will also master the corners. Looks like the KTM Expo is making a little one good comeback that might be able to come in for it. So the Supra is about to find a way to take, take it back in for it. So this is going to get a little bit closer to be able to step onto it. Okay, Expo R is trying to give it a little slow time while the Supra makes the overtake to come back in the lead. Now, this is going to be an excellent downhill turn to be able to slide it in for it, just like drifting. Having a little drift, taking on the downhill to be quite giving the technique to be able to have some score points to be needed as well. Now, this is definitely quite giving the inevitable to be able to have a good technique performance on the skill points on the clipping marks. Tire marks are definitely quite given a good moment. That will might be the only answer. They're taking the last part and then the last stretch is going on, going on the way. Checker flag has made it to be on the mark onto the new Supra. And this is a very good Gazoo racing win for the new Supra, folks that was a very good run so that was pretty good for having a second round for this race that will be quite very good to be able to race on straight for the next round for it now looks like giving some standard earnings is definitely quite giving a good excellent opportunity to be able to go for now looks like the auto police did a pretty good job to be able to race for today so Right now, it's time to get ready for the final race of the moment. Time to get ready to race on Fuji International Speedway. And this is going to be able to go for an elevation view to be able to go downhill and uphill terrain to, to be able to prevail its racing experience for every kind of a JDM car to be able to challenge with some good high power vehicles of the N300 category. Now, this will be the final round of the race for the GR Super RC and then this is going to be able to be prepared for the next custom race during this one. But this will also to be able to keep on racing to be able to have the new Supra to be able to get everything successfully improved for it. So here we go. Last round for the Supra is going to be on Fuji Speedway. And here we go. This is going to be able to get a good moment to be able to have the Super RC is now going to be ready to race again after after the long break. Because this is going to be able to get a good straight run to be able to get some good acceleration for a top speed. Now this will be able to have a form up with a multiple file line to be able to keep up for it. Because this is going to have to take a little bit of single file time to be able to go a little bit patient. Right. Giving a one opening mark because this will be able to bring out the Supra to be able to master the Fuji Speedway. Just like the Reaching Contest 2018 did, but this time the real car will be able to go in and be able to master the corner. This will also be able to prevail the greatest challenging experience of the track that will be able to get everything done for. So let's have this sports car to be mastered the Gucci Speedway. We'll be able to do downhill and uphill terrain. We'll also to do an elevation to be able to provide so much experience to be able to have some turns to be able to race well for it. Now, looks like this is going to be going in for it, just reaching up the uphill terrain to be able to go a little bit nice and careful. 
because this is going to be quite good. This is easy to get a good handling turn to see to keep up a bit. Very good. Only four more to go and this is going to be quite an excellent run to be able to keep up the straight to be able to go by grab. Now this is definitely the long straight to be able to go speed up for it. It will be able to have a 7 speed transmission to go faster. That will be an impressive run to be able to go as quick as possible. So we'll have to see it if this is going to be able to come closer to the nearby approach. So 7 speed transmission gives a special run that will also to be able to get a good chance to be able to go straight forward. Then make a way to be able to go for a breaking point to be able to reach on to the first turn. So that was quite impressive for having using the 7 speed transmission gear before the 8 gear will be switched. This will give some extra support. Now looks like it's going to be coming closer to make a good pass on the Alpine. Switch back again to the nice interior view. So looks like getting a little bit closer to the KTM Expo R. Looks like the GR Super RC in second place is going to be able to come closer to be able to step up forward. Because this is going to take a lot of good horsepower to be able to speed up faster. Now, looks like this is going to get a little bit better and closer for it. It only has to take a lot of turns to be able to go on the straight. Now, finishing up the last turn might be able to get a little bit easier by now. Now, looks like this is going to be able to come closer for it. Only six second gap, and then now to on on to buy the second gap is going to be able to go closer than ever. There, reaching up onto the seventh gear, and then this is going to be the main cube to be able to make a breaking point on the first turn. Now, looks like this is going to be one step closer to be able to overtake the Expo R by giving any chances. Right, that might be quite excellent closer on it. Now, it looks like this is going to be quite an excellent car to be able to race on Fuji Speedway, which is quite giving a good advantage to be able to have some turns to be able to go step in for it. Now, it looks like it's getting a little bit drawn closer for the Expo R, because this is going to be one hard opening pass, passing overtake to be able to get everything prepared. Here we go. Has, and then use the apex, go in, and then first place in the lead. Now this is an excellent handling skill to be able to perform it for it. So this will also have to keep it well steady, and then this will have to do a little downhill and uphill climb technique to be able to race on the track. Just gonna have to keep a little bit better and smoother to be able to go better forward for it. That interface that excites for the GR Super RC. That this will be able to come any chances to be able to have a good 8 speed transmission to be able to get the best moment. Looks like the X4R is not giving up because this is gonna be the best part to be able to have a 7 speed transmission to speed up faster. So here we go, just gonna have to pull the brakes and then make the moment, 
And now this is going to be an excellent technique turn to be able to have to come closer to be able to do a little concentration. Now, looks like the final lap is about to be coming in for it. Just going to have to get everything a little bit started. have a few more turns left until this is going to be a one good race well done to be quite very perfect. Looks like the X-Bar definitely wants to keep it up for more. So, looks like this is going to be a one fair subscribery race to be able to get everything speed for it. Take some good speed, concentration, well focused, and also to get much possibility to be able to have some animals go well focused on the apex to be able to keep up some more. Okay, stay on it. Just gonna have to do a little hill climb to be able to get better for it. Good for our last stretch, and then the best music is definitely giving the rightful moment. Just go for a little boot down, and then just gonna stay focused while the XOR is trying to find the best moment to be able to go in for it. And then that was the main nick of time because the replay recording just definitely stopped for a moment. Now, this is a pretty awesome race, folks. Racing in the Toyota Super RC GR is definitely quite giving a good, strong opportunity to challenge the KTM Expo R to a one-on-one -on -one race. Now, this is pretty good, but this also has a lot of good skills to be able to master it. So, it's possible when using the sports hard tires or medium, so this will be able to have some a little fine quick tune-up by giving some good horsepower to be able to improve. So luckily, first place earnings is definitely quite very good to succeed successfully for it. So that will be quite giving some more hard work to be able to get everything done for. So, looks like the three round is finally all done and that is a very good trying out for this race on the Toyota GR Super RC. So this is definitely quite very supportive with Gazoo Racing by Toyota. So this is definitely quite good for racing motorsport. Now, looks like giving a one good earnings that might be having a good job for it. So this will have to go and buy the red three small flakes. And it looks like the special colors for this week is definitely all done by now. So it looks like better have to save up some mileage points because all the colors that you really want to buy, that could be able to go spend it on the mileage exchange for it. So the Toyota GR Super RC is definitely became the fifth generation of the Supra models is definitely quite very cool. So we like the fourth generation Toyota Supra, but this one is a modern style cool version of it because that could be quite very cool to be able to have a good GR title on it because this is very amazing for it. So this is definitely quite cool to be able to have three Toyota Supras to be able to race in the GT League. So maybe for the next trying out vehicles. So looks like the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren is coming up soon for it. Then by the Pagani Herrera 2013 and then later the McLaren F1 GTR BMW 1995 is definitely quite prepared for one racing category to get started for. So this will be able to have everything set up to be all in order by each category to be able to do for any certain vehicles. Well folks, glad that you really enjoyed trying out to see this to new Toyota GR Super RC and I hope you really want to try it out and think think about this one this one is super cool so thanks for watching and be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe on youtube and don't forget to click the bell for some notification for uploads that you want to see 
and also the links in the description down below if you really want to see more. So, I'll be seeing you guys next time to continuing on for a custom race on Gran Turismo Sport, and I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing, stay cool.